Hi friends and welcome back to Brown Girl Gourmet. If you are new, welcome and if you're not, thanks for coming back. Today we're making Tuscan shrimp and spinach soup. If you want to see how I do it, keep watching. Okay, so to get started, these are all the ingredients that I'm using, but don't worry, I'll list them in the description below. So I'm going to take the olive oil and just heat the olive oil in the pan, and then also I'm going to use the shrimp. Now this is about a half a pound of shrimp, but you can use as many as you would like. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to make sure that they're not, you know, on top of each other. They all have their own little space. And I'm gonna, you know, let those cook for a good two minutes and then flip them over. So you wanna flip them over and make sure, you know, that, the, that you're getting both sides. And they don't have to be cooked all the way. You want them just slightly cooked because they are gonna return to the heat later on. So they'll finish cooking, you know, for another maybe two minutes later on when we combine all of the ingredients. So you just want them to be cooked just barely done. And then they'll start to sizzle and they look really good so things are going well okay so now I'm going to take the butter and I'm gonna let that heat up in the pan and then also I'm going to combine uh, the onions and also I'm adding in garlic minced garlic and also a few red pepper flakes and you can totally you know omit the red pepper flakes if you're not trying to have too much of a spice because it does have a little spice but it's pretty good to me so if you don't want it spicy you don't have to have the red pepper flakes you can leave that out so you just want it to uh, start to simmer a little bit and then we're going to move on to adding just a little bit of flour so now we're going to move on to the flour now i didn't measure how much that i used um i just kind of took the bag and started sprinkling some in and then mixed it in with the onions the garlic uh, the minced garlic and the red pepper flakes and i noticed that it didn't seem like it was enough or sufficient so i did go in and sprinkle in a little bit more and mix that together so i don't really know how much i used i just kind of eyeballed it and this is the second soup that I made. Uh, the first one was a broccoli and um, cheddar uh, soup that I will be posting later on. But I really enjoy um, making the soups and uh, they're really hearty. Like I never really got into soups and whatnot, but I find them to be really good. Um, I'm just adding now the chicken broth and then this is heavy cream. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of the Italian seasoning. And now this is a Parmesan cheese, the shredded Parmesan cheese. So you want it to start to boil and then add in the spinach, which is kind of like the star of the dish. Um, that and the shrimp, of course. And usually when I'm making spinach, I kind of sit it off to the side by itself and add in like a whole bunch of garlic, a whole bunch of olive oil, a whole bunch of pepper to make it have its own seasoning. But I didn't do that with this because it kind of has all of the basic things that I would have put in it anyways in the soup itself. So I didn't really season the spinach. And you will notice that I switched from that frying pan so now like a pot or a dutch oven because i wanted to cook the shrimp in something separate and then um saute like vegetables and whatnot because i didn't feel like in this big pot that it, it would do well i mean i guess it could but i just felt like that so now i'm adding in the shrimp so as I mentioned before, the shrimp will continue to cook. That's why in the beginning we didn't have to cook them thoroughly because um, they are going to return back to the heat. So here they are still cooking. And 
And there you have it, Tuscan shrimp and spinach soup, a pretty tasty plate. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and save.